What's up, guys? <laughs> what we got? What we got here is a brand new motorbike. It's brand new to the market. You only get it at one place. Yeah. You got to be a member to get it there. Walmart. She runs about six hundred eighty-nine dollars plus tax and assembly. You see, you drop that ball. His glove also came from Walmart. Show him at Rawlings. Let me see it. That uh, Wilts. That what Spalding. Let me see it. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. What you're looking at here is our newest dirt bike motor ped. I don't know what you call it. 196 cc's of absolute terror. Tops out at about how much? Huh? What's the max speed you dinged on? 22. 22 miles per hour. So, although the box shows a picture of a helmet, no helmet is required. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Yep. That's it. 200 cc's of lawnmower engine. Piece of junk, governor. Takes about 30 pulls to crank. Runs 22 miles an hour. Other than that, better than any Japanese dirt bike made. Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, whatever. This thing is mean. Brakes aren't good. Chain comes loose, missing a few bolts. Other than that, if you have a really strong forearm and you can pull this thing about 60 times to crank it the first try, she's a winner. It's actually pretty fun. We got it to take to the drag strip. And now I'm going to get my sidekick here. To fire this baby up. She's cold, so this will be a cold start. So I'm going to let y'all see just what it takes. Now put the choke on. All right, put the choke on. It's a manual start, so like I say, you can't be sitting around eating fat cakes all day cranking this thing up. Whoa, first try. Daggum, that boy must be a varsity basketball player. Man. All right, he's gonna take it for a wild ride. Let's go, Hot Rod. Are you ready? He may be gone. He may not ever come back. That's wide open, guys. I'm telling you. This thing's like back to the future. You end up in 1985 if you ain't careful. <laughs> and that right there is what 22 looks like coming by an iPhone. I'm not sure if he's having fun or if the throttle's stuck. He can't stop it. Which has also happened twice. Hop a wheelie! Turn the headlight on to show them how massively bright it is. All right, guys, you can, you can turn it off. As you can see, if you're gonna ride at night, the headlight is blinding. I mean, you can see all about an inch in front of you. So if you drive it on the road or in the woods like we do, take a flashlight and tape it to the handlebars. Oil goes in here. You check your oil there also. I think it holds 700 milliliters. Don't quote me on that. Read your manual before you pour that in because I'm probably wrong. I hate the camo. We're not hunters. We're fishermen and drag racers, so the camo absolutely stinks. But it's all Supercenter Walmart has. Um, there's no brakes up front because brakes are for quitters. So we do have a hydraulic brake in the rear. 
that allows for some massive power slides and dangerous moments. Got the cheapest of the cheap hardware. I actually had to go get grade eight. Well, that ain't even grade eight, but I had to go buy two bolts cause the fork was falling apart, triple tree. The Chinese, Taiwanese, whatever Chinese food bolts they sent fell out and we picked it up. They fell out of the box from wherever this thing comes from. It is, has a lawnmower gas tank, runs like sidekick. How long does it run on a tank of fuel? Like six months. It runs forever on gas. I don't think it's even using gas at this point. I think it's using the atmosphere because we don't put gas in it. The chain is so loose that I'm not sure how it works anymore. It comes that way brand new. You got some really cool adjusters that look like they came from Kmart from before they went out of business. It's got a rack right here for hauling absolutely nothing. It's too small and weakly made. It does have a reflector. It's not a brake light, so don't confuse that with safety. Master cylinder, that part's the best part about the bike. You have a K&N air filter from the factory. That's a lie. It's a foam piece of junk. You have choke, gas, and your electric start. Other than that, she is pretty cool. A lot of fun. You can adjust your governor right here. That screw if you want to and we want to so we've maxed ours out and obtained all of 22 mind-boggling miles per hour make sure you have insurance because sometimes the throttle sticks <laughs> and you can't get it to stop which is why you want to be familiar with the kill switch when it goes into danger mode and won't stop you want to kill it or either jump off this side of the bike while riding because the muffler, no, jump off this side of the bike while riding, because the muffler is right here. And if you do a bell maneuver, you don't want to burn your leg. You're already going to the hospital. There's no reason to go to the hospital and be burnt. Other than that, she's great. She's awesome. I would actually recommend it to anybody. We'd take it to the drag strip and ride around because we're too fat and lazy to walk. It's actually pretty cool for what you pay for it. Coming up next, we're gonna be doing a review, some sidekick. We're gonna be doing a review of the, I don't even remember what it's called anymore. What's this thing called, sidekick? The Cheetah. The Cheetah, 125. So keep a lookout for that one. We've done air shocks. We've done spacers on the rear wheels. And it's actually pretty cool. Other than that, guys, we're gonna sign off you run to Walmart for just the right moment, you can put this in your Walmart pickup like we did. So we literally picked up Brussels sprouts, French fries, sandwich meat, and this, this jewel right here. It'll get you one. You won't regret it.